Well, when my son was about one and a half, I started thinking about the fact that we lived in a big city and he didn't have any way to like dig his hands in the dirt. <laughs> and to me, it's really important to have a connection to like the earth and the environment and learning how to nurture something um, until it fully grows. I think that parents, especially in urban areas, are realizing the need for kids to be outside <laughs> and dig in the dirt. And so more and more moms are creating these small gardens. Uh, you can do it in pots. We had a much smaller space in our old house and I had great luck with pots. We planted so many things this year. Every year it's been a little different. I planted some new stuff this year, but we've got peppers. One of Jack's favorite foods is peppers. He actually likes to just take it and eat it like an apple, which I know is sort of shocking. Um, he likes red peppers, orange peppers, so I did a lot of peppers this year. We've got cucumbers, which are always so much fun to just pick right off the vine and chomp on. Peas, snap peas, and shelling peas. Again, you know, he ends up eating so many more foods when he gets to just go and pick them right off the plant. Right now it's spring, so things are just starting to peek out of the ground, but we have these artichokes that this is their second year. We planted them last year from seed, and they don't fruit the first year. So the second year, it's just bounty of artichokes. I'm so excited. Spring to summer ends up being my favorite time of year because I literally do not have to buy produce at the market. <laughs> The greatest benefit that I've seen um, in Jack through gardening has been that he really has an understanding that you have to nurture something in order to have it bear fruit. And that's a really important lesson in life. Everything that grows in the garden tastes better than even if you buy it at a farmer's market. It's just better if it's grown in your own backyard.